Welcome! It's a great day to be a miner. In today's video, we're going to do some farm expansion. We're going to go down to our secret mining location and we're going to do some expansion. We're going to add a new shelf so that we can add a new rig. Without further ado, let's spin that intro. Pew! All right, all right, here we are. We're in my garage. Here is the Arbiter rig. If you haven't seen this build, go and check out my video above that has eight AMD reference model 6000 series cards. And it's just sitting on top of a cabinet in my garage because I'm a home miner, I'm a small miner, and I've had to put rigs in the basement, in the garage, and in the mining cave to disperse the heat and of course the power usage. And then of course up top I just have a really cheap TP-Link router and I've configured it to be an access point. So it's going from the inside, it's coming out the signal, it's coming Wi-Fi to it, and then it's hardlining down into the rig. And then I've got a cheap Odell old school monitor hooked to it and a corner cabinet with just some random junk because this is a garage. There's the garage door opener. So what are we doing today? Today we're going to add another shelf right here and we're going to put at least a 6x6600 6, XT or and we may even actually move that out to an 8 card rig but for right now we're going to build a 6 card rig and we're going to mount it on the wall right there and then we'll have a nice little hard line. We're going to run it from a separate outlet and then we'll have this kind of a mess of wires at the moment, but I had it all nice and cleaned up and then I unhooked it all and rewired and so there it is. But we're gonna run another power strip from a different outlet and then that way we have a separate strong 20 amp power to come over to this separate little small rig and then this one will be on its own outlet. So what have we done so far? We went ahead and figured out where we're gonna put it and then we measured it and we used a stud finder, this little fella here and what you do is you put it flat against the wall and you push the button on the side and you slide it along the wall until it does that there is your right edge and then you do the same thing coming back across to find your left edge if I can get it let's do it again it's a little hard with one hand but right there showing our left edge give or take and so I marked the two lines for each edge and then marked the next one. It's not gonna be a very big shelf. So we went ahead and got that shelf cut. Let's see what the shelf looks like. Just a really a thick piece of wood here, plywood, OSB I believe. And then I just cut it to fit the wall. Let's see if I can get it to see. And there's our new shelf. And then for to hold that shelf on the wall, I'm really impressed with this little $25 kit I got off of Amazon. So here's this kit, $25 from Amazon. It states that two of these will support up to 225 pounds and they have very nice heavy duty welds on them. Hopefully the camera can see those. Yeah, there we go, nice heavy duty welds. These are pretty solid brackets. It was an eight pack. It came with very nice anchors and really heavy duty screws that are quite nice. Look at these anchors, like these are big boy wall anchors. And it came with a screwdriver. Look at that giant bonus. I don't know who's putting up shelving that doesn't have their own Phillips head screwdriver, but hey, well, there you go. So that's what we're gonna do. Let's put this thing on the wall, get the shelf mounted, and then we'll go back out and we'll build out this rig so that we'll have a new rig running up here. One other piece, I wanted to show this off. This, I picked this up. This rig right here has two server power supplies plus an ATX on them. And so then that means three power cords. Well, this guy is gonna allow me to eliminate one of the cords. I'm gonna run one of, I'm gonna run this single power cord to both of the server power supplies. So it's got your, got two of these ends, C13 ends I believe they are, and then it's just got one standard plug into the wall three prong. So this should eliminate one of my cables and it's a heavy duty, I think it's a 16 gauge, it's pretty nice and thick. 
and it should handle the workload no problem. This total rig is running 1100 watts and so the actual ATX is probably running 250 of that and the rest is running split between two server power supplies and you're probably gonna be wondering why would you do that? You're wasting power supplies. I got a bunch of those Dell 1100 watt server power supplies for like 15 bucks a pop. So I threw an extra one in there just to make it so that this thing's nice and quiet. And it's pretty quiet running full tilt. It's running about 384 mega hash on just under 1100 watts. And it probably could get a little bit more mega hash, maybe two or three more if I cranked it back up, but I wasn't very stable. And then of course this rig is in the beautiful triple A wave dredge two and it has 14 fans on it. It's got nine of these Arctic P12s, and then on the back it has a five of the nice RGB up here cheapos, but technically it's pulling the air from the front and then exhausting in the back. So these are 1800 RPM, and the back ones are your standard 1200 RPM. By the time it gets across, you're gonna need less exhaust than you need intake, and that's why I chose that. And then the ones on the side are actually pushing the cold air from the sides in, and then these are pushing the hot air all the way through the rig and out the back of it. And then in the back, I had to leave about a four inch gap. That way I can make sure the air is actually getting out. Ideally, it probably would have been better to have this whole thing flipped around to where the fans are pulling from the back and coming out. But this allows the cooler air in the garage to push through it rather than to grab some trapped hot air from the back. And there it is it's mounted on the wall it's a uh, pretty even after i readjusted it. it's about maybe a sixteenth of an inch um i was slanted to the left once i got it all installed so it turned out pretty well i think it's going to work really good right there a six or maybe even an eight card rig right above there and then i've already got my hard line and i can run another power strip right to the side of the cabinet and then I'll have a nice extra rig right there on the wall. So let's talk about the lessons learned on this because there's definitely some lessons learned. Number one, pre-drill, pre-drill, pre-drill. After I started to put the shelf on there, I realized I don't have space to work over top of this running hashing rig. So I took the board back off, I pre-drilled the holes, I used a little stubby screwdriver and was able to hand screw those in with no problem into the board. 
Another thing is I tried to use an anchor on the very bottom right one and I realized one you shouldn't be using anchors anyway into wood you should just be putting the screws directly into the wood and again pre-drill if you're using the screws directly into the wood so that the screw will start in there and go in easily without stripping out the screw and then also number two is that those anchors are really cheap junk these things are not good anchors so Whenever you're putting those in, keep that in mind. You make sure, even with a pre-drill, I cracked two of them, but it was going into wood, which I shouldn't have used. In sheetrock, maybe these would be all right, drywall, but for in wood, never use these. And secondly, while the screws look really nice and they're pretty solid screws, they are cheap metal, cheap Chinese metal, and they will easily strip out. That one didn't fully strip out, but I could tell where it was starting to strip out and I backed it back out of there. And another lesson learned is this long, goofy screwdriver they gave me actually comes in real handy because of these long, long brackets. So if you're trying to screw in, it's kind of hard to get on camera. This one clear back here. You're not going to be able to use your drill most likely unless you got some really good bit or like one of those little angle bits. Um, so you're going to have to hand screw these in and you need a nice long screwdriver like that. So it actually worked out pretty well. And of course the final tip is don't install a new shelf over top of a nice expensive rig that is running and hashing away. No accidents this time, but could have easily dropped a screw down in there, ruined, uh, shorted something out, caught it in the fan, probably should have unhooked this, moved it, installed this, put it back, hooked it back up. But, uh, this is the life of a home miner. We had to get, get this going. All right, let's cut to that outro. Thanks for coming along with me. <laughs> well, there you have it. The shelf is installed. It's naked. It's waiting for a new rig. That build is coming up. I'll make sure to put links for all the hardware down in the description. If you like the video, you know what to do. Smash that like button and subscribe for future content. Thanks for coming along and enjoy the ride. Pew.